So you get an email from your friend about something important and they ask you to download a file from a URL. Since the email is from your friend, you probably don't suspect anything and download the file and open it. It is a Word document and it wants you to click on Enable Editing in order to display the contents of the document. So you click on Enable Editing, but nothing happens. Well, at least as far as you know. But here is the POV from the hacker. The hacker now has complete access over your computer. He can view your files, download them, capture your keystrokes, extract your saved passwords, access your webcam, and even establish persistence so that they can access your computer whenever they want, even after you restarted it. Well, obviously this happened because you downloaded and opened an unknown file on your computer. Although the file is just a Microsoft Word document, it has macros embedded in it. Macros allow you to write code in Visual Basic and embed it into the Word document to automate tasks. Hackers can take advantage of it by writing malicious macros that downloads a payload from the internet and execute it to get a reversal on the victim's machine. When this payload is executed on your computer, it spawns up a process that connects back to the hacker's server and gives them full access to your computer. This is also called a reverse shell. Let me briefly explain to you how I created this file for the sake of this video. I used the famous open source project called Metasploit to generate a reverse shell that is compatible on all Windows 64-bit computers. The payload connects back to the mentioned IP address and port when executed. I've created a new Word document and I have written a simple macro that downloads this payload from my Python web server and then executes it on the victim's machine. Now, I simply start a listener on my Metasploit console and wait for the victim to open the document and click Enable Editing. When this happens, the payload is downloaded from my Python web server and executed on the victim's computer, which gives me a connection on my Metasploit console. And just like that, now I have full access to the victim's machine and I can do a lot of nasty stuff. So, how do you escape such attacks? How do you stay safe from such attacks? The most obvious answer would be to not download random files from the internet and open them. But when your IRL friend sends you a message or an email like this, it's hard to not open it, right? I mean, the reason why your friend sent you this email in the first place is maybe because they are already compromised. They are already hacked. And the hacker is probably using their mail account to send you this email and hack you as well. So here is the best way to open suspicious links without the risk of getting hacked. Let me introduce you to SquareX, a free awesome tool that helps you stay safe and anonymous online. Using SquareX, you can open links in an isolated sandboxed browser that is running on cloud. This makes sure that even though if you open a malicious link, it doesn't affect you because the link is not opened in your browser, but in a browser that is running on SquareX's cloud services. Same goes with files. You can download and open suspicious files from the internet inside SquareX's disposable file viewer and preview them to know if they're malicious or not. And even if they turn out to be malicious, it doesn't affect you in any way because the file is opened on SquareX's cloud instance. And finally, you can also make use of their disposable email feature to pass email verifications on websites without having to provide your real email address. The best thing about it is that you can do all of this for absolutely free of cost. To install SquareX, simply go to sqrx.com and click on Add to Chrome. This will download and add the SquareX extension on your browser. You can then go ahead and create a free account on SquareX or log in directly with your Google account. And that's it. You are all set up. It hardly takes two minutes. Now, let's come back to the email that we received. Instead of downloading this file on my computer like I did before, I will simply right click on the attachment and click open in SquareX. This will automatically download and open the file in SquareX's disposable file viewer. And now I can safely preview the document without getting hacked. Nothing affects me because none of this is happening on my local computer. Instead, it's happening on SquareX's cloud service.
And as you can see, this is an awesome way of browsing the internet safely. You don't have to worry about opening malicious links and getting hacked. So go check out the description below to learn more about SquareX. You can also find the link to install SquareX in the description below. So go ahead and give it a try. It's absolutely free to use and it really enhances your safety while browsing the internet. I highly recommend everyone to try it out. It's an awesome addition to your internet browsing. So that'll be all for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something new. If you did like this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also leave a comment in the comment section. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.